In this tutorial video for the extreme breakouts and price action strategy, we are going to go over the Connors RSI settings, which are right here. We're going to go over the entries. We're going to go over stop losses and all the options. We're going to go over take profits and all the options, and also your entry and exit filters. So first off, uh, let's say, for example, we're looking for breakouts that have uh, are higher than the last 60 bars. We have that already set. And now we want to add a couple options and filters to that. So starting with the Connors RSI, and we'll come back to this in a second, but just know that this Connors RSI controls the Connors RSI stop loss here and also the Connors RSI take profit here. We'll come back to that in a second. Now, moving on to the entries, you can simply delay your entries by a certain number of candles. So if you want to, so let's say here we have an entry. If we want to just enter after, next candle, we can do that. We can skip another candle. We can skip another candle. So you can play with that sometimes. Sometimes that can definitely help your profit uh, and your drawdowns. But that's what that's there for. You can skip candle entries, any amount of candles you want, candles or bars. Here, you can look for shorts or longs. Uh, I, I'm on test, so I'm looking for longs. But if you want to look for shorts on a chart, you could certainly do that. So it's long or short. If you want to trade the same asset, both long and short, you would uh, create a long only strategy and then you'd create another strategy which is short with its own settings. So right now we have this on long, we're looking for longs. Now for stop loss, let's say we want to add a simple stop loss in there here. So what we would do, okay, now we have nothing selected. To show the stop loss on the screen, you select show stop level and you have the option here to use a stop loss uh, a certain amount of percent beneath your entry or previous high level. We'll show you this on the screen here. So if we wanted to go, for example, five percent, let's do something like 10% below entry. our style we have everything okay that's good let's go back to our stop loss okay so I didn't click on use stop loss you got to click on use it okay so now you can actually see here on our first entry we have a 10% stop loss placed underneath. Go to our settings. Yes, 10% stop loss. So if you were to measure from here to here, sometimes the trading view tools are not as precise, but get the general idea from this entry down to here. 10%. If you would actually candle the, count the candle price to here, it would be 10%. But sometimes the drawing tools are not as accurate. Now, moving on. And this is adjustable by the hundredth percent if you want. So you could literally, oh, you know what? I think, let me show this to you. Let me put enter after zero candles the way that we have it by default. That will clean up the stop loss. Okay. So now you can see there it was 10%. It messed with it because we had the uh, enter after one candle, which was actually entering on this candle, making it a little higher. So that makes sense. So if you want to change this though to, you know, 2%, you could. You'll see it adjust on the screen. If you want to make it 2.25%, you can do it. It's adjustable to the 100%. So 
So really, really precise. If you want to, let's change this back to 10. We want to do it on the previous higher low. So we had our entry here. We're going to look at the previous low of this candle here. And that's where we'll place our stop loss. Now you should see that'll be 10%. So that's how that portion works. You don't want to use a stop per, um, a fixed percent, but you'd rather use an average true range stop loss. You can do that also. Let's set one up real quick. Maybe 20 period with the three average true range. And you can see that. So here we are. And the ATR is also adjustable to 100% also if you want to get really precise on it. Now, if you're in a trade with a stop loss and you want to move your stop loss to break even, after you get into profit, you can do that with this. Move stop to break even. You can see here how we started our stop loss and then we got in a profit on this bar, then it moved it to break even. Now, if you just want to, let's go back to the stop loss settings. You can also put your initial stop at break even. So as soon as you enter trade, your stop loss goes to break even immediately. You can put that on there also. Now that won't uh, wait till the bar close to do that. It does it immediately. So just keep that in mind. Now, whether you're using a percentage stop loss or an average true range stop loss, you can trail it with a trailing stop percent or an average true range trailing stop. We'll show you both over here. So here we go. We had our average true range stop loss initially, and now we're trailing it by 5% of the price. And you can see how it's actually moving it up on the screen. Now it's trailing price. And this is adjustable to the 100% also, if you want to get really precise with it. Your average true range works the same way, except it's, instead of using a percent, it's using the ATR. Let me actually put a setting on here. And now you'll see that up here on the screen from our initial stop loss. So here we had our initial stop loss and now we're trailing by average true range. Okay, moving on. Let's go back to the stop loss section. Now we get down to the Connors RSI initial stop. Now going back to the Connors RSI setting, the fault is usually three to 100. You can play with different settings here to see what you like. Um, but this 32100 setting on your Connors RSI or whatever you have up here is going to be what controls your uh, values here that you use. And you can use the Connors RSI. Excuse me, I was in the take profit, but it does work for that too, but we're talking about stop loss right now. So if you use the Connors RSI stop loss, let's say a 99 and the one, for example. So since we're looking at longs, we want to close any longs if it goes below one on the Connors RSI on these settings. So you can play with those numbers and see what works well for you. You can use the Connors RSI stop with any of these stop loss settings together at the same time. And whatever happens first is how you'll be exited via stop loss. Uh, what you can't do is you can't use uh, you can't use a uh, fixed stop loss and ATR at the same time. They cancel each other out. Does it make sense to use both? Use one or the other. But once you use one or the other, then you can use any other option down here for moving your stops or using trailing stops. You could use uh, 12 by a percent or using average true range. And if you want to control what your stop loss looks like on the screen, you have this plot over here here under the background color and you can change the color of it, the thickness, how it looks on the screen. 
whatever you like. Okay, let's move on to the take profit section. Okay, so we're gonna keep our stop loss on of 10% we had before, just for example purposes. And now we're gonna try a couple different take profit options. Let me take this one off first. Okay, so you can take profit uh, a couple different ways. If you want to use it, if you want to use Bollinger Band through Keltner channels when price exits outside of them, you can do that. So what you would do is you always need to have use take profit for whatever take profit setting you use. But if you want to use the Keltner channel or Bollinger Band, it's nice to see it on the screen so you can actually see it. And then use take profit indicator. That's use take profit indicator is going to control this section here, which is the Keltner channel and Bollinger Band. And then here you can adjust the length of the Bollinger Band or Keltner channel and also how sensitive it is by the multiplier. But you can see here, so we have Bollinger Band. Uh, and as soon as we entered the price and it exited the Bollinger Band, we exited the trade via take profit. Same thing here, we had an entry, exited the Bollinger Band here, we exited the trade. You can do the same thing with Keltner channels. So you just make sure you want to have these settings selected for that. Now, if you want to, instead of using those, maybe use a simple percentage from entry. You know, anytime the trade maybe, let's say, gets 10% of the profit, we want to take profits. I'm waiting for the to calculate an update. Okay, there we go. So now we're doing that. So this is also adjustable to the 100% you want. You can put any value you want in there. If you don't want to use a uh, fixed percent, you want to use something more dynamic like average true range, you can use that. And that will take profit based on your multiple, which is also adjustable to the hundredth percent. Or actually, this one, I'm sorry, is that is a, adjustable to the hundredth percent for the ATR. And uh, so you just put that in with your period length there. And then you have the Connors RSI take profit, which again is controlled by this Connors RSI settings up here. And you know you could just play with those and see what would give you the results you're looking for um, on your strategy. Now you can use Connors RSI. Let me take that off for a second. You can see down here how it affects the trades, waiting for it to update. Okay, we do need to have some sort of take profit, so let me put one on. Connor's RSI. So you could use it together with any other setting together. And actually, you can have every single take profit uh, turned on. And whichever condition happens first is where you'll be exited out. So you can use any of these with each other, or you could use them by themselves. Okay, let me just take them off and we're gonna move on. Now we have entry filters. We have two of them, they're the same, but you could use one maybe for a shorter time period and one for a longer time period. So you would click use entry filter and let's say you want to look for uh, trade entries that are above a 50 RSI on a four length. You could do that by putting these settings in. You want to look for maybe above 80, something more extreme, you can try that. See if it filters out some of the trades, which it does and so on. You can do above or below. And if you wanted to use a longer RSI, you could do that here, maybe like a, say, 50 RSI. It's gonna be above 20. So you could have both of these working at the same time. One on a lower time frame and one on a higher time frame. Still calculating the strategy, looking for those settings. Okay, so that actually didn't affect the strategy at all. If I have to go with the larger number that might affect it now. Hold that a second to calculate. Okay, so 
you just have to play with these and see what works for your uh, training system. So you can use RSI, you can use Stochastics, works the same way, above or below. You've set your settings here, and same thing with EMA. If you want to use an EMA, you can look for trades that are above or below, whatever EMA you want. You can type in here any number. So you have entry filter one, which is maybe you could use it as a faster, then you could use this entry filter two as a shorter. Okay, let me take those off for now. And now you have the exit filters, you have two of them. And what this will do is it'll keep you in a trade um, longer if, if you want. So let me demonstrate that to you. Let's say, for example, uh, if our side gets above 99 on a four, you actually don't want to exit the trade just yet. You want to stay in. You can see by me applying that, it definitely filtered out a lot of the trades where we exited before. Actually made it more profitable too. So you can try different settings on here with your RSI above or belows, your stochastics, and your EMAs. And again, you have an exit filter one and two. You could use one as a shorter time period and one as a longer time period. And again, we have videos on all the other settings. All the settings I went over right now, the Connors RSI, the stop loss, the take profits, uh, entry and exit filters are all combinable with all other settings under the market regimes, price action controls, man entry filters, volume controls, liquidity controls. So you can get very, very precise and exact um, price patterns or uh, breakout uh, patterns on here looking for very, very specific conditions. So that's it for this strategy, um, for this portion of the tutorial on those settings. And appreciate you taking the time to watch it. Thank you very much. Happy trading. Thanks.